What is it like for you to uh, to watch boxing these days? It's just not my life anymore. You don't watch it at all? Or did you watch Tyson Fury, no, Deontay I didn't Wilder? Watch it. I didn't watch it. Oh, didn't watch it was a great it. fight. I was in the air flying when they were fighting. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you didn't watch any of the highlights or no, anything? I saw some of the highlights. Yes. <sighs> How crazy is Deontay Wilder's power? Good stuff. Crazy, right? Because he's built so strange. Two hundred nine pounds. How incredible! How incredible is Tyson's jaw? Incredible, incredible, and gets up and wins the rest of the round. That's what's really incredible. It's amazing, amazing Good fight. Stuff. Yeah. So you don't follow, you don't follow no, any of it today. No, always. Um, you know, um, that's part of my life. Um, I'm. Um, right. I got mixed feelings with that part of my life. Right, right. You know, right. I mean? it's a lot of. A lot of stuff about that I don't like about myself and stuff. I just, right. I try to forget that stuff because I'm on a whole different um, vibe. Pattern. Yeah. yeah. So even watching other people box. I, you know, I don't, I don't even watch nothing. I try to stay away as much as possible. So watching other people box makes you think about yourself when you were fighting. It reminds you of it. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. I always say these guys are so much nicer than I was. <laughs> you know what I mean? These are cool guys, man. <laughs> yeah, right? Like who? Who out? Yeah, there's no one out there today that's got that mean, vicious yeah, persona anymore. Yeah, these are anymore. nice guys. Yeah, you when you were in the ring doing a post-fight interview, saying you wanted to eat your children, you want to eat someone's children. I remember saying this is the craziest fucking post-fight interview. It was, it was about Lennox Lewis, right? Yeah, it's a yeah. madman. Alexander what, the Great. What's yeah. wrong with me? <laughs> I'm just a madman. It was amazing. It was amazing for the for the story for the time. I mean, look, what it was was. When we saw Rocky three, right, and Mr. T was was challenging, you know, uh, Rocky, and he would say all that crazy shit about what he was going to do. My prediction, pain. pain. That was beautiful. It was right? beautiful. What you did is you took that and just cranked it up to eleven and threw gasoline on it and lit it on fire. You just took that kind of ferocious shit talking. Yeah, I look at some of those um, press conferences a long time. Ago, what I'm saying to these guys, I would yeah. never talk to anybody like that. You know, it's just such a different <laughs> world now. My world is so different now. Do you feel when you watch that stuff that you feel almost like uh, trapped by that past, like uh, that you have to acknowledge it? And you don't even acknowledge it anymore. Yeah, you know, I'm almost a little bit like I don't want to be involved. I wish that never happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it kind of had to happen for you to be who you yeah, are now. Yeah, but no, it's because people. Um, this is the real reason, right, Joe? This people still people love that guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, people love that. I, I didn't yeah. like that guy that much, so I have my uh, conflicting with people that like that guy and me living my life that I am living now. Yeah. Well, people love that guy because that guy gave them a drug, and that drug was excitement. Like you, you turn on the TV, like oh shit, here we go, Michael Spinks, Mike Tyson, here we go, and boom, oh, that's what people wanted. They wanted that excitement. They knew some crazy shit was about to go down, unpredictable. You can't, you don't, no one knows what's going to happen in a fight. Is it going to be a right or a left? Is he going to move right? Is he going to move left? How's it going to work out? You don't know. How long can Spinks last? You don't know. And everybody was excited. And that was that's what you brought people. You brought people this this chaotic moment. You slapped down the money in the pay per view. You got out your popcorn and you waited for the the rush, the rush of excitement. Those are crazy days. Crazy man. days. Crazy. I mean, I hate to keep bringing your head back to that, but just for me uh, as a kid growing up during that time, it was a big part of my you know my t becoming an adult. It was during your era. Your era of dominance. I always look at my kids, you know, I think, wow, these guys are pretty much um, um, middle class kids. They live their life, they do what they want, they go to college and everything. I would, I would, ever, I would never want to put that pressure on my son that you have to be the total best. You have to dominate everybody. You're going to be the best that ever lived at this. And you put that kind of pressure on them. Would, that's incredible. I would never do that to them. Yeah, it would, it would never work, probably. I mean, I don't think a kid that grows yeah. up in a loving household with supportive yeah, parents. Yeah, you guys boxing for when you have nothing. <laughs> yeah, when you do boxing when you just had nothing, because that's a lot of um, that's a lot of dedication, that's a lot of pain, that's a lot of um, aggravation, a lot of you know. I mean, it's really just um, discovering who you are.